Hey guys, this is Jay Kapoor here, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix NVRAM warning Wi Fi NVRAM warning error in two simple steps. Yes, the Wi Fi NVRAM error is very common in MediaTek devices, it may occur after flashing a new custom ROM or unmarking your device via SP tools. It's very common and very annoying. It's uh, you may face this error after you have flashed a custom ROM or or unbreaking your device wise SP tools. So let's start this quickly by explaining what is Wi-Fi and VRAM error. So when you go to your settings and turn on Wi-Fi and a message pops up. Wi-Fi network available. And here you will see NVRAM warning error 0 into 10. It's not a real Wi Fi, it's just a system bug. You can't connect to it, as you can see, it won't connect, but it's just a Wi Fi, it's just a NVRAM warning error. So let's just forget this network. So let's, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error in two simple steps and it's very annoying because when there is no wi-fi network available still because of that nvram warning it will still show open wi-fi network available which is annoying so first of all what you have to do to fix this error is, is to turn off wi-fi the first thing that you have to do is to download the wi-fi nvram fix file from the link down below in the description uh, uh, it will be a rar file so you need a application to uh, extract it i recommend es file explorer it can extract rar file also so when you have opened es file explorer just go to your downloaded folder and here it is the size of wi-fi fix file will be 1 kb or so so it will the download will be super fast just i will just try to extract it just click on this and here you will see extract okay I, I extracted it already so it's seeing me to overwrite it so here it is Wi-Fi fix files there anything another thing you have to do is to when you uh, you have to enable root root explorer in ES file explorer where to copy these files in the data nvram folder so the second step is to copy uh, uh, copy that extracted file copy that extracted file to let's just select it copy To, uh, to device and then data here you will see data folder click on this after that you will see scroll down and after that you will see nvram click on that folder and after that you will see apc fg folder click on that uh, and select the second folder which is aprdeb click on that and here paste the files you just copy it the same file already exists do you want to overwrite click on overwrite and once more click on overwrite and the Wi-Fi uh, and Wi-Fi custom files has been pasted click on Wi-Fi custom then click on more then properties and scroll down you will see permissions click on change and uh, untick other, untick execute, untick execute, read, write. So it will be like this. Owner read, write, group read, write. Okay. You have to do the same thing with the Wi-Fi file also. Select it. Go to properties. Change permissions untick execute untick other read write read group read write and just 
uh, after that the final step is to reboot your phone and after that you will no longer see Wi-Fi and VRAM warning so let me just reboot my phone so I have just rebooted my phone as you can see you can notice the time also so I have just rebooted my phone and uh, and let's try uh, let's turn on Wi-Fi and see the Wi-Fi and VRAM warning is gone or not yes the warning is gone now yeah and you just fixed this Wi-Fi and VRAM warning in just two simple steps without the need of hex editor or something like that with you just have to copy the extracted files in data and VRAM and the 2AP folder it was just simple just uh, just keep in mind to change permissions as directed and reboot your phone after changing permissions uh, thanks Nilendu for the Wi-Fi fix files you can go to the extra thread and thanks him so so thanks for watching this video if you find this helpful then please click on that like button and subscribe to my channel uh, uh, and you uh, if you want more tutorial like this then please comment this without lucky patcher without the need of greenified donation apk so let's get started